I like it. Let's bring it back. Aleka was born a year after we were married. Bringing her into this world was the best thing to happen to me. Tell me about your husband. How was he with Aleka? Matthew. He was very patient, nurturing. Did you feel as if you were the only one in the room when he spent time with you? I, on the other hand, took the easy way out with her. Matthew passed away early in Alika's life, is that correct? How did that affect you? Through time, I became very angry. More on Alika's behalf. Malika was never the same after that. Do you feel the pills had a negative effect on her health? I don't know. As time went by, we drifted further apart and we were losing the house. I did everything that I could to save what Matthew had left for us. I spent one more time at work. Listen, Alika, I don't like this any more than you do. But it's just...
Chloe, wait. Chloe. Stop. Just leave me alone, okay? Just stop. I, I don't want to listen to this anymore. It's done. I'm not letting you go until you hear what I have to say. There's nothing to say. This I overreacted, okay? I'm sorry. Why don't you want to fix Just this? What? To fix what? You? Us! We stop talking completely. I just want her to tell me what she's going through. You know, I was her age once. I'll understand. Does she have any friends? Somebody who she must be communicating with? Mm, not that I know of. I don't think... She really has really many, many, many friends. 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 I am pregnant. That's great. So, so what's the problem? I'm not keeping the baby. Are you even gonna ask me? That is our baby! You're hurting me.
tried approaching Alaika? I never have time. We're always home at different times. She's home, uh, she's off somewhere, she's in her own head. Make finding the time a priority. Perhaps even skip a day from work. How will I pay for the bills? Even a day will make a difference without- Look, Sharon. I feel you are unconsciously spending more time at work in order to avoid the reality with your daughter. It's okay to sacrifice one day. I have to keep a roof over her head, put food on the table. I'm doing what I can to keep Alega's life the same, as if Matthew was still around. I'm not intentionally avoiding my daughter. But it's not the same, is it? It's time you confront that with your daughter. She doesn't need you to keep sugarcoating a reality. It's only creating a handicap. It's unhealthy for you and the Laika. Talk about Matthew. Ask her how she feels. I'm sure you'll have plenty to talk about. So what brings you in today, Sharon? Thank <laughs> you. 